need the rain jacket handy this evening, depending on where you are located in the state line. As look at satellite and radar, we have a line of scattered showers working through the state line right now. It seems like spots north of this line and west of this line, so around Freeport, for instance, likely will end up staying dry the rest of this evening. The rain should be beyond Rockford at this point, so Rockford expected to stay dry, but there are a couple spots like near Rochelle and Belvedere that are still getting that quick line of showers, maybe a quick downpour out of this. No thunder, thankfully, but be ready for, again, a brief amount of rain before things dry out later on this evening. All of this coming through along a cold front, which is helping us cool off a little compared to some of the summer heat we felt earlier this afternoon. You look at satellite and radar, and in general, nothing forming along or behind this front. So it seems like once this line of rain works on through, you should be good to go the rest of the evening, but have that rain jacket handy just in case. Here's future track to demonstrate that uh, you know that we've got that line of showers working through right now. A lot of it looks to exit after about 630. So here we are at six o'clock, possibly right along the I-88 corridor. So just past Dixon and working out of Rochelle. And then by about 630, seven o'clock, that rain should be done for us and we're dry the rest of the night as a result. So as they look live at downtown Rockford, uh, some wet streets thanks to that quick line of showers, but things are drying out currently and it should stay that way the rest of the evening cooling off a little. We hit 90 for the second time this month earlier this afternoon, now down to 83. Thanks to that cold front working by, you see those cooler northwest winds kicking in, and that'll help us cool off quickly later this evening. We don't have to worry about that summer heat for too much longer. You look at the Friday night football forecast, possibility some isolated showers right around kickoff for some of you, especially close to I-88, starting out warm in the 70s, but then dropping off into the 60s. And we're still in the 80s now, so that gives you a hint. We're going to cool off pretty quickly this evening once sunset occurs right at about seven o'clock. So look for again a warm evening, but not quite as warm as what we're experiencing even as of right now. Later tonight, another night in the 50s, this time a little milder compared to the past couple nights in the 50s. Partly cloudy conditions expected overnight. And as we go into the weekend, it's been the theme of the week, starting out cool, but warming quickly back into the 80s by the afternoon. But that could be about as warm as it gets. The start of the weekend down about 10 degrees almost. Uh, so we do cool off behind this cold front. Should be a comfortable start to the weekend. Then we're back into the summer heat for the end of the weekend. Near 90, slightly humid, definitely a good pool kind of day. As we round out the weekend, we'll be in that summer heat for a couple days. If fall weather is more your speed, we got that coming by the middle of next week. We may even be in the 60s for the start of the fall season, and we're only a couple weeks away from our average first frost. Not a guarantee it's popping up in a couple weeks, but that's uh, that time of year is getting a lot closer. So as you look at the forecast, 89 for Sunday, but 69 for the official start of fall as of Wednesday. So really cooling off next week in your most accurate 10 day forecast. We're going to stay on that cooler trend with temperatures generally in the 70s, upper 70s possibly by next weekend. So uh, it's definitely not looking at cold fall weather yet, but things really cool off after this weekend, Brittany. All right, Alex, thanks for that.